Now, this might seem like an odd way to start a tank a day video. Um, but I feel like, for, sort of for my own edification, I, I'm, I need to, to say it. Um, I stopped doing World Tank videos for probably about a week because I had a string of games that were just incredibly frustrating really disappointing to play and these were games where even when when I won though I realized that I wasn't really enjoying it a huge amount victories felt pretty I guess hollow in, in so far as um, it didn't feel like we won it felt more like the other team had the other team lost you know it didn't feel like it was a hard one. It was a hard one or well-earned victory. It was just a game where, hey, we we won because the other team made some. No one was on that flank. They had more people sitting AFK in base than we did. All these other things, which which lead to a game that feels generally disappointing. Now, I'm not saying that every game was like this, but I'm saying that en enough of the games were like it that defeats felt like it was I suppose a an inevitability and victory the same way there wasn't it didn't feel balanced it didn't feel fun and I was realizing that I thought you know what after a string of well basically a couple of days of many games like this I thought that's it I'm going to take a bit of a break and I've taken a week break and I would, I came back to it today thinking, you know what, I'm going to sit down, I'm going to have a cup of tea, I'm going to have a chocolate digestive biscuit dunk in my tea, and I'm going to play some water tanks. And I'm going to enjoy it, because you know, after a week, I thought I'd come back and it'd be really fun again. I'd have that kind of spark. It was just a case of, oh, I was just getting ground down and worn out. But I came back to it today, and I played, I think, probably six or seven games, and all of them have been just the same. All of them have been games where uh, I've made a stupid mistake and I've, and, I've, and I've died, and that's fine. That I can handle. But I've had games with people sitting AFK in base, had games with people shooting people like their own team, like team killing. Had games where it's just no one goes down one route and everyone. You look at it and go, why have you done that? so it's awkward. I don't know how right now how I feel about World of Tanks and I really I'm sad because I used to absolutely love this game and I don't know what what's happened that has made me go you know I, I'm not enjoying it and I think part of it might actually be doing these videos and thinking about the game and looking back and seeing sort of this long being more aware of this long-term pattern of well actually it's a bit disappointing so there's probably not going to be any World of Tanks videos for a while. I'm going to just give it a bit more time. I might go back to sort of recording from replays rather than doing um, live recordings just because honestly it's not... I realise basically it's it's become... I, I'm playing it more out of a sense of obligation than out of actually enjoying it. And the the number of games where I go, oh that was fun and enjoyable, don't don't make up for the number of games where I go, you know, this is I can't do anything because I'm I'm in a tank often like I'm seem to be match made consistently near the bottom um, in terms of sort of vehicles um, and it's just, yeah, it's just become very disappointing and sad, so I'm going to take another week break, I think. I'll see what, how I feel after, see here in the background, there's the Grand Finals of the W Wargaming Net League, and that's this weekend, so I might watch that. I might see if I can kind of rekindle my, my interest in this game, but I don't hold out much hope. Basically, I took a week break, I thought it would be fine, I came back, it wasn't, it's the same kind of problems I had before. 
it might be time to move on to a different game. Sorry, Wild of Tanks.